Jet Ski World Cup 2013 presented by Thai Denmark. Sponsored by Thai Airways, Smooth as Silk, G-Shock, Chang Drinking Water, and Rosa. Next event, Pro Runabout Open on this wonderful day of jet skiing from Pattaya City in Thailand. Let's have a quick look at last year, Virabong Manichong from Thailand, world champion last year. He came from nowhere, basically. He went from an expert to a pro last year, and he took home the trophy, beating out last year's James Bushel, who was ranked number one in the world. There you have Virabong Manichom competing as well today. We'll have to see what he can do in the racing. Participating this year, Guy Greenland from Australia, Christian Dagestan, also Australia, James Masterton, John Baptiste Botti, who's second ranked in the world, George Kaza, fourth ranked in the world, Erosutan Aswar from Indonesia, Sadahiro Mikami from Japan, Hajime Isahai from Japan also, Jun Ikoma, Japan, and Masaharu Takenoshita from Japan, who's third ranked in the world. Kim Jin Wan from Korea, Jared Moore, South Africa, ranked first in the world, Chokotit Muli from Thailand, Azar Chawalit Gajarun, Virapong Manichom, and Pumpon, Tira Patmanit Virapong, of course, ranked fifth in the world, Khalifa Belsa, James Bushel from the UK, and Phil Pope from the UK. I love the King's Cup, it's a very good atmosphere, great people, and uh, I love Thailand, it's uh, very good to come to, come here. There's a lot of, lot of really good riders here, there's uh, Body, there's Gerard, and um, there's a Hungarian guy who's very fast as well. So those three, and then obviously there's Choke and uh, Chow, a Mutt last year who won it. But, you know, there's some really fast guys here this year. Well, obviously I hope to win, but um, yeah, with these fast guys, then we'll uh, you know have a work cut out, and um, hopefully we'll see what happens. You know, it's over four motos, so anything can happen, breakdowns or anybody could fall off, and um, we'll just ride as best we can and so do as best we can. Yeah, the competition is here is so hard. There's so many fast cars. Uh, the uh, Flamingo team from Thailand, uh, Choke won the first race and he's really fast. Uh, Matt had a bit of bad luck, his ski broke down, but he's also going to be there. There's guys from Japan, Takano Shida and Bati from France, so the competition is crazy hard. And we just got to get a good start and try to beat them. Ça va, après il faut, il faut pas que la machine est casse, donc il faut rouler un peu doucement et faire attention parce que la course elle est longue et en plus il y a encore encore une manche à remédier, deux manches demain, donc je me sentais bien, mais après il faut, il faut essayer de gérer aussi. Je pense que c'est important, c'est un tour de notre Seigneur de la Seigneur. C'est un Different challenge, il y a différents waves, donc c'est très intéressant de voir et de race. All right, let's get into the racing. Uh, Pro Runabout Open starting off in the first moto. Off they go, big boats, lots of water, lots of noise, lots of power. Here we are, leader Choku Titmoli from Thailand taking the lead. Coming out of the first lap, second place, Isahai from Japan. Jun Ikoma, Japan. Fourth place, there you have him, Jared Moore from South Africa. And the fifth place, Bati from France. Of course, these races here, sixth place, you got Bushel there as well from the UK, right now in sixth place. You got the top five from around the world racing today. Checkered flag in the first moto. Placing first is Chokotit Muli from Thailand. Going into the second moto and some highlights from that race. Here you see them, Jared Moore and Chokotit battling it out for first and second place. A lot of bouncing around on the water there. They're continually trying to overtake each other. That's the battle going on in motor number two. But at the end of that race, here you have them, Chokotit Muli in the lead, taking first place, second place there, Jared Moore. And continuing through that race, third place you got James Bushel from the UK coming in there as well. Fourth place, Isahai from Japan. And the checkered flag once again to Chokotit Muli. 
Two motos to choke a tit. Let's have a quick look at the scores. John Baptiste Botti in 10th place from France there. Masaharu Takanashita from Japan, 9th. Chawalit, 8th. James Masters in, in 7th. Pumpon in 6th. Juni Koma, 5th. James Bushel in 4th. Hajime Sahai from Japan in third, Jared Moore second, and Chokotit Moli after two motos in first place. However, only 24 points difference between Moore and Chokotit. Let's go into the third moto and see whether or not Chokotit can carry on with his winning performance today. Third moto, he needs to stay in first place, although that may be a little bit difficult to do. He's got Jared Moore right on his backside. Getting ready on the starting line. Here we see his boat, Chokotit getting ready, boarding his boat, ready for the third moto. He's got 120 points at the first two. Loosening up, tense, stress. Riders getting ready. On the starting line, engines going. And off they go on motor number three. On the inside, the pro runabout open, and the outside as they start off on the opening lap of this third moto. On the inside lane in the lead, Chogatit Mully. There you have him coming in on the inside track of the opening lap. On the outside, Botti, if you remember, he's not doing that well in terms of score after the first two motos, but suddenly here he is, boat number 85. Oh, red flag. The race is being stopped. A red flag, we don't know just what's happened, but we've certainly got a red flag. Marshall's out there as well. Crowd wandering as well. There you have it. Looks like there's two jet skis involved in something. Bit of debris floating around in the water as well. I don't know just yet what's happened there, but uh, it does look like maybe there's been a smash. Let's have a quick look again. There you see it. Jared Moore and Masaharu smashing into each other. Jet skis. Looks like there's uh, quite a bit of damage. Masaharu's jet ski there. This is Jared's jet ski also damaged. Not quite sure if he's going to stay in the race. We'll have to see at the engine there he is Mazaharu trying to explain what exactly happened out there in the water his jet ski looking all the worse for wear I don't think he's gonna be able to make it but what about Moore is he gonna continue there he goes he is continuing in moto number three on the starting line ready to go and off we go moto number three Jared Moore back in the race he's only 24 points behind Choco Tit so he's got to stay there Opening lap on motor number three, coming around on the inside there in the lead, James Bushell from the UK taking over the lead in motor number three on the inside track. On the outside, Botti riding very well, taking second place. He's on the outside track. There you have him. Bushell in the lead, followed very well close behind by Botti in second place is a high third place fourth place Chowlet and fifth place Chokotit and there you have him fifth place may not be enough he's got to do better than that he's got 24 point lead over Jared Moore but he's got to make sure he gets a little bit better than fifth place if he wants to stay in number one position Chowlet there in fourth place Third position, just pass out. Give me the name in just a minute. And in the lead, let's see, we've got Chokotit there in fifth place. Still in fifth place, hasn't managed to come up just yet. He wants to come up. He's going to try it. He's got to do better than fifth place. He doesn't have that comfortable spread between himself and Jared Moore. 24 points. Anything can still happen. And he's got to fight, fight, fight wants to do anything on this race. Let's just see, coming around the top end of the course and the left-hand side, there you have Bushel in the lead. Botti, second place, doing very well on this race, coming around from first two motos, not doing too well, now doing very well in motor number three. Bushel and Botti battling it out for first and second place, coming around on the right-hand side of the track now. A lot of pressure on them. There you have Chokotit, still in fifth place. He's going to try and make it into fourth place. 
trying to cut that corner around that boy, and he's got fourth place. That's put Jokicin in fourth place. Very daring move, cutting short on that boy. Put him in fourth place, and that much closer to first place, and making sure that he takes this race. We'll have to see if he can maintain this. Bushel there, still in the lead in first place on boat 158, coming across the grandstand. Botti, 85, still in second place there. These two are really battling it out and keeping the rest of the pack way behind them. Can't even see third place there yet. Bushel and Botti. First and second place is Botti trying and trying to get into first place. Doesn't look like he's able to make it just yet. Coming around, they're coming around the top end of the course there. Very shortly, he'll have to try and put on a lot of power. Botti! Lifting his arm, he's out of the race, signaling he just cannot go on. Something's wrong with his jet ski. There is Botti out of the race. That really changes the positionings because that suddenly puts Isahai from Japan in second place. And what does that mean? It means that Shoko Tint is back in third place after Botti drops out of the race. Coming around on the right-hand side of the track. Botti out. Isahai in second place. Shoku Tit in third place. We've got to see how this goes. I mean, they're going to be overtaking. As they come around this left-hand side, Bushel there in the lead. From the UK, is he going to take the checkered flag on this? Yes, James Bushel takes first place in this one. Isahai takes the checkered flag for second place or not. We'll have to see, Chokotin still trying to get into second place. Is he going to do it? Nope, Isahai in second place. Chokotin coming in third. Very respectable points-wise. He's lost a few, but he's not hurting too bad just yet. Then again, they're all kind of wondering what's going on because nobody's real sure of their points yet. Here we have in the points, Jared Moore, South Africa, zero points on the third moto out of the race. That has upset the entire scoreboard there. You got James Bushel now suddenly in second place. Chokotit Mully, despite his third place placing in this one, still in first place, but he's only got a few points on James Bushel. Let's see what happens in motor number four coming up shortly.